am going to talk on arterial blood gas analysis. Body tries to maintain pH within a normal range of 7.35 to 7.45. Immediate provide buffers provide defense of pH which include bicarbonate, phosphate and protein buffer. Regulation of pH ultimately depend on lung and kidney. The role of lung is to eliminate carbon dioxide which is the principal end product of acid metabolism and role of kidney is to retain bicarbonate and eliminate protons of non-volatile acid. Now you remember your oxygen dissociation curve, it is a S shaped curve at a pH of 7 at a, P, at a PA over 2 of 60 millimeter of mercury saturation is 90 percent at normal pH and increasing PaO2 further results in much less rise in SpO2. So, your aim should be to keep your PaO2 more than 60 and saturation more than 90 to maintain adequate tissue perfusion. Now, why is it important to maintain the pH? pH which includes intracellular, extracellular including blood is maintained in a normal range to preserve normal cell, tissue and organ function. Now, the normal intracellular pH is maintained at around 7.2. It is important to keep metabolic intermediate in ionized state and prevent them from going out of the cell. Most intracellular enzymes take part in cellular metabolism have pH optimum closer to this pH. DNA, RNA and protein synthesis is slightly higher at a higher pH. pH is maintained with the help of plasma membrane hydrogen and base transporters which are activated in response to acidemia. Now the blood pH is maintained at 7.4. This is required to keep intracellular pH in the optimum range. It enables optimal binding of hormones to the receptors and also enables optimal activity of enzymes which are present in the cell. Now, why do you need to know ABG interpretation? It is an essential part of diagnosis and managing oxygen status and acid base disturbance. Disorder of acid base balance can create complications in many diseases. Occasionally, these abnormalities can be life threatening. Also, a thorough understanding of acid base is necessary to treat your patient adequately.